Guess who's off work? This motherfucker right here. Look, and I did not let the doorknob hit me with a good lord showing up this spit me. You hear me? I was out of there. All they saw was like a gust of wind. Like, did the, did the paperwork move? Okay. I was just checking some stats, right? And so I found out that people in general, every day, touch their phone at least, touch their phones 150 times a day. Whether it's messaging, voicemails, the time, you touch it. So when a brother tell me that he is too tired to text back, I call the bullshit. So my coworker asked for some, did anybody have any snacks? And I was like, yeah, I got a bag of little, little Chex Mix Trail Mix, you know what I'm saying? Get you some. So, as, you know, you don't know me very well, so I'm thinking you gonna, you know, take the bag and, you know, shake a little bit in a, in a, in your hand or something like that. I told her, I was like, I don't have any napkins, but yeah, you can still get you some. She's like, oh, that's okay. So I'm thinking, well, yeah, she gonna, you know, shake, open it, shake a little bit in her hand. Nah. That's not what she did, y'all. She opened the bag and she dug her nasty fingers in my trail mix bag. So if anybody knows me knows, they know that all this is now garbage. I can't eat this, y'all. I don't know where them hands been. Let this be a public cervix. Serv not cervix. <laughs> Okay, so if I ever decide that I'm a date again and or I want a boyfriend, all I know is is I want him to pay for everything. You see what I'm saying? I want him to be like mad if I go reach. Like I think I'm about to reach for some money to pay for something that he asked me out on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I'ma be all coy like I was just gonna leave a tip. And he gonna be like, Tim, tip your ass to the car while I pay for this meal, girl. You my babe. I'ma take you out. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that's that's what I want though. You know, it's nothing wrong in life with telling somebody no. You can tell them no and be polite, and you don't even have to have a reason. Just be like, no. Just like if somebody says, "Hey, you want to go out tonight?" And you be like, no. And if they say something like, "What? You don't like to have fun?" Be like, no. Is that petty? Man. Where do bunnies come from? When you gotta use the restroom and you close to home, you'll break all speed limits, you'll go up over curbs, through driveways to get there, gotta get there. So I was thinking about if I was just gonna start doing robberies, how I would do them, right? And I was like, wouldn't it be the bomb like if I became like a waitress? At like a like a like a fancy restaurant, like really upscale, really fancy, right? And so when the people would like order drinks or whatnot or pay with their credit card, I would ask this. No, 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 no. It would be better if I asked when they did drinks so I can get their um their address off their uh ID like early and be like, Oh, you look so young, can I see your ID? You know, like play and so then, right? So then I would call my um I would call my accomplice, right? And I'd be like, Okay, here's the address. You know these fools ain't home, they just sat down for drinks. And so then we were we're going to rob them, right? And so, and hopefully, they don't have no kids. Like, hopefully, they'll be, like, older. So, they might not have no, no like, nobody be home. We'll just rob them blind. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute. And then I was like, wait a minute. They already, they already did that. It was a movie called The Bling Ring. Here's a little disclaimer. If you're thinking about trying Burger King's Fruit Loop Shake. You ever eat a bowl of Fruit Loops and maybe you get to the end and there's, like, a little bit of fruit loop left, a little bit of milk. You don't eat it, you leave it. You leave it, you leave it sit, and you let the fruit loops soak up the remainder of the milk to it like expand. And then you let it sit some more till it gets maybe room temperature with the milk. And then you take your spoon and you pick up like a piece of fruit loop and eat it. That's what the milkshake tastes like. Okay, so if you don't know, I drive for a living. So let me tell you about what I seen today. So I was driving and I saw this dollar bill because when I'm driving, walking, whatever, I'm always looking for cash. I just think that someday I'm going to find a big, huge bag of cash somewhere while I'm riding around. Good morning, y'all. I want to tell y'all why fast food workers be getting your order wrong, if you didn't know. It's a reason behind it. I do it on purpose. 
the majority of fast food workers that I pick up daily, they just high. That's why your order's wrong. Because they high. Y'all didn't know this, but I talk about assholes a lot. There are two types of assholes on this earth. The first type of asshole is the kind that plays music on their phone without any headphones. The second kind of asshole is an asshole who plays music on their phone with headphones, but the music is up so loud, you can still hear the flipping music. Which kind are you? Okay, guys. So, I was thinking about turkeys today. And I was thinking, is there a such thing as turkey eggs? Man, I'm about to go home and take 40 winks. You hear me? I am tall. How come when people are like in the middle of like the street and they talking or whatever and you're trying to come through and you're coming through slow they look at you like you've done something wrong be like all this sidewalk grab a square okay snappers i was kind of wondering like how actually how keen is an animal sense of smell right and this is why i was thinking this because i know some animals have a sharp sense of smell dogs and sharks and all this but i wonder how keen a monkey sense of smell is right because monkey shit in their hand and then they and then they throw the shit but they don't necessarily wipe the shit off like it might get some of it might get off when they swinging on branches and stuff they pick up some but they got shit on their hands and not only do they have shit on their hands they got old shit on their hands because the shit is just like constantly like piling up on top of itself so then when they go to when they pick up a banana or a coconut or something they go to eat it like they don't be like oh damn i it's shit on my hand we're now tuned into the world's greatest <laughs> Thursday. Not Friday. Thursday. Thursday. Oh my God, y'all! Did y'all hear what I said? It's Thursday. Oh my God! I just made something up. I'm a genius. Okay, so I'm driving and I see this nice cherry red Escalade, right? And it had rims on it, and the rims was also cherry red. And I'm thinking, like, whoever driving it is probably ugly because, like, when you see, like, really super nice, super clean car, it's usually somebody ugly as hell driving it. And I was right, it was. But as I kept looking at this ugly dude, I realized it's not an ugly dude at all. It's an ugly woman looking like an ugly dude. But that's not the end. So in the car, it's like a gaggle of white girls. I don't want to stereotype at all, but I know that the redhead, the blonde, and the brunette was not out solving crime. That's all I'm saying. Hoeing. They was hoeing. You know they was hoeing. It was some kids in the back, too. I waved at one of them, but I didn't want to wave too hard because then they might look over at me, and I didn't want to be a part of that. Look at this fro today. I be having random thoughts like I wonder what the very first social security number issue was. Anna Jordan, whoever you are, today is your lucky day because I found your wallet outside your car and I turned it inside. Have a good one and I didn't look through it. Just a little bit. Just see your name. These birds are so damn right disrespectful. Have the bubble guts on your own time. Man, I'm just saying, if you don't love me like two crackheads love one another, then I can't fall in love with you. I just had a random thought about zombies, right? Because I've never seen The Walking Dead, but I heard it's really good. And I think I'm going to start watching it. But then I thought, like, okay, so what, when you become a zombie, like, what the hell happens to your legs? Like, why you got the slow bop, bro man slow bop going on when you walk? Like, what happens to a zombie's legs? And then I was like, who is getting eaten by these zombies? Because I was like, if they slow bopping, like, what, why you not running away so i just saw this cape guy right he was cute so i'm thinking if i was gonna flirt with the cable man what would i say then i drew a blank then i was like okay something about checking my cable box and making sure it's working properly <laughs> nailed it see y'all think i be joking though but these be like some serious snaps okay so, I'm trying to figure out who's in charge of corn at night. So, 
I just realized, like, I didn't realize it, but I kind of just realized, like, okay, so Bruce Jenner is a woman, right? But I'm thinking when the story came out, they was like, oh, Bruce Jenner is growing his hair long. He must be transitioning into a woman. I'm thinking, since when did a man grow his hair out equal him transitioning into a woman? Man, why is the snake's defense mechanism death? I mean, like, who is really just bothering snakes where they like okay if you bother me you die i mean why can't they be like the mosquito i mean they bite you a little bit you get a little you get a little bubble you get a little itch or and why is that the mosquito's defense mechanism i'm like they first of all are those original vampires because i'm like mosquitoes like blood they suck your blood and then they get mad at you and make you a little little bubble on your skin and make you itch like how petty is that like oh have you ever seen like a bug that's by itself and you be wondering if they lonely or is that just me have you ever smelled somebody who stinks so bad that you think your contact lenses is actually melting to your eyeballs is it petty for me to get a blowout and then like you know get a silk press and they put the wind on it oh <laughs> Shoot, each did it. She done created a monster. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, let me tell you. Hey, grown ass people. I'm going to need you to download the app for whatever bank you bank with. And I'm going to need you to check that mug before you go to the ATM, okay? I do not want you standing there 5, 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out what's in the check-in, what's in the savings, how much you can take out. Do that shit before you get in front of me. You know what I'm talking about? I do not have time. You see this? What is this? Okay, so I'm back on vegetables. Okay, it must be what the hell. Okay, so I'm back on vegetables, right? Okay, so you take a vegetable that has grown outside in outside temperatures right you take tomato cucumber grip they all grow you know on the ground on the vine outside okay none of them grow in the cold so then why do we come home and put it in the refrigerator we even got a drawer for lettuce let us grow in the dirt we need to put it in a dirt pod and keep it i don't know but i'm just saying why why who taught us that who taught us to do that you're about to make a snap and you was like maybe this should be the snap that i don't make but i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it anyway because that's just me okay i love all human human beings okay but we got a lot of you know racial things going on right now so here's my solution so we gather all the races, we gather all the skinheads, the neo Nazis, the Nazis, or whatever, right? We put them on a boat. <laughs> we put them on a boat, and we find an island, and we and we put them on the island all together, right? And then they could just do they could do skinhead shit, monster truck rallies, bonfires, trucks in the yard on bricks. I don't know. I don't know what racist people do. Then, right, they could just watch, you know, just shows with white people, you know, like Friends, except them two episodes with Aisha Tyler. I like the show Friends, by the way. I've seen all the seasons. <laughs> okay, that last snap was really culturally insensitive, and I do apologize. So, I just found out that the uh, fish place is now selling funnel cakes for $3.99. I don't know about you, but I don't trust my funnel cakes with a place that also fries fish real heavy okay so don't okay, you taste some like lemon pepper salt these snappers i just want to say that it is a beautiful saturday i am off all day and i refuse to be in the house all day i'm about to be out here in these streets so you know what i'm saying if you see me i'll let you go how at me anyway even if you don't see me because you know i'm out here in these streets alone i'm lonely 
this one always be telling me I can't download shit because I ain't got no So my family. cousin is the only person ever to own a cell phone that gets a virus. Like, it, <laughs> must, it must be that PC type of flavor because I'm telling you, Apple phones don't do that type of mess. I'm just saying that that must be that must be Android problem. Hey, snappers! I just wanted to come on real quick and tell you that no matter what you do in life, you can't be hard while you're taking a selfie or an ussy. I'm just saying it cannot be done. And I realized after working for like twenty something odd years. I am not cut out for this shit, simple woman. You know what I'm saying? I don't want much. You know what? I don't want to win the lotto. I don't want to be rich and famous. You know, I don't want, I don't even want a, like a, a loving husband. What I want out of life is I want to put on a pair of knee socks, take them off, and not have those little freaking lines like <laughs> on my leg. That's what I want in life. I want to put on a pair of socks wear them all day and not have them freaking lines on my leg that's what i want out of life let me tell y'all about the i can't even call this fat shit this is some humongo shit i was about to do right so i was about to go to the store get some uh frozen garlic bread right and some good cheese and some pepperoni and i was gonna make me a grill a pepperoni and cheese, grilled cheese on muscling garlic bread, dog. But the only reason why I didn't is because I was like, "What about that butter on the side with the cheese and stuff? Is that gonna be? Is it gonna be hot enough to melt that? Not just the butter on the side that's on the pans. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody do it and tell me if that shit is delicious." Cause I'm on my way home. I was just thinking, do you think a skunk? is immune to its own scent i mean because if i was a skunk and i had to smell myself that funky all day every day i i would throw myself out in front of a car what and who discovered that if you douse yourself in tomato juice that it gets rid of the skunk smell like is where you on a tomato farm like how did you come about the tomato and then what the hell is in the tomato that the chemical compound of it mixes with the chemical compound of the skunk spray and neutralizes it you know what i'm talking about if that's the case they need to put some of that tomato compound in deodorant because some of these armpits be humming you know if i acted upon my road rage first of all i would probably be a serial killer that's number one because i would be killing folks like on a daily basis and number two no that's it i would be a killer this is how i know the devil's real okay so long time ago when after they invented pie somebody was like you know what this sweet ass pie with this buttery ass crust and the sugar and the fruit needs it needs something sweeter to go on top of it something light but also equally as sweet and this is how the devil exists because only the devil would take a pie and put something sweeter on top tell me that you honestly haven't talked to yourself out loud or had a conversation with yourself I don't think I trust you. You know, sometimes I be making snaps and I be like, oh, you should not make this snap, but I'm going to make this snap. Okay. So I see three people walking. And one of them has a two liter of Mountain Dew. One of them has a large, I mean, got a handle bottle of pine salt. And one got a large jug of ammonia. So you already know what I was thinking. Mass lab. You know how hard I could with some bionic arms. Oh my god. Has anyone ever redeemed Kool-Aid points? So I am not a big soda drinker, but I had to have me some soda. And not not no sprite, not no fake. I needed some dark Coca-Cola, Pepsi, something dark, right? So I go to Burger King. 
king. I was like, give me the large. I was like, what's the largest you got? Is there anything larger than large? Give me that one. And so I get some food too because I didn't want to swipe my card for a dollar. So I get home. I'm like, yes, I'm about to get up. So I get my little food together, put my drink on the table, sit in the chair. I slide the table towards me. Lord, the cup fell over. The pop runneth all over the floor. Lord, you want to talk about my soul was crushed? Okay, y'all remember that song, Dip It Low by Christina Milian? Okay, so in the lyrics, she says, um, meet him at the door with nothing on, take him by the hand, let him know it's on, right? But see, in my world, if I had a man and I met him at the door with nothing on and took him by the hand, that nigga would probably have like diarrhea or something and then we couldn't do it. I ever see somebody whose hair is clearly damaged and they just they just hold on to the hair I, you know I, I am a person who've had who's had to cut it down to the to the uh the cortex so i'm just saying man if your hair is damaged quit holding on to that shit if you already bald and your hair is damaged the but hell you already there shave that shit clean and let it grow back healthy from the skins out okay quit trying to hang quit trying to gel this shit down and the gel ain't even working no more because you can see the split ends through the gel. Like, come on, man. Healthy hair, 2018. Hey, man, I need a foot rub. A serious question for you. When you shake another man's hand, do you, like, automatically expect it to be, like, their residual penis juice on you? Because men go to the restroom and they hold their winky and they don't wash their hands and then they go and get a man. Man, dab. So, do you like expect that? Is that just like a part of being a man?